Dear students, friends, hello, good morning. So yesterday we have completed uh, various uh, road margins. Now today we will, uh, along with the cross section we have seen, now we will see what is side distance, what is intermediate side distance, why is the side distance, etc. Why it is required to be provided in this today's class. Side distance available, side distance available from a point is the actual distance along the road surface which a driver from a specified height above the carriageway has the visibility of stationary or moving objects. Also in simple way it is the length of road visible ahead to the driver at any instant so that he can apply brakes and bring his vehicle to stop before collision with the object or the vehicle on the road when he is moving. Here you can see there are various uh, situations on horizontal curve and vertical curve and at intersections invariably side distance is to be provided. Suppose if this is the car which is moving and if there is an object then the height of driver, height of driver should be 1.2 meter above the pavement surface and any object is of 0.15 meter here it is 1.2 meter this is the specification laid down by IRC so this is the stopping side distance you have to stop so that you can apply the brake by the time you both of or if it is object you are approaching towards object without any collision Maybe. So in the same way at intersection also the visibility because of the objects because of the objects in the form of electrical pole or tree which are present the visibility should be available for the driver of the vehicle moving on this main road with respect to the vehicle moving vehicle moving in the cross road with respect to the main road they should be visible to each other types of side distance stopping or absolute minimum side distance ssd safe overtaking or passing side distance osd safe side distance for entering into uncontrolled intersection intermediate side distance Headlight side distance. So SSD, OSD, and at uncontrolled section, intermediate side distance you can write it as ISD, and headlight side distance you can write it as HLSD with abbreviations. Stopping side distance. The minimum side distance available on a highway at any spot should be of sufficient length to stop a vehicle traveling at design speed safely without collision with any other obstruction. What is overtaking side distance? The minimum side distance open to the vision of the driver of a vehicle intending to overtake the slow vehicle ahead with safety against the traffic of opposite direction is known as the minimum overtaking side distance or the safe passing side distance. Side distance at intersection. Sometimes what happens? It may not be possible to provide signals. In that case, driver entering an uncontrolled intersection, particularly unsignalized intersection, has sufficient visibility to enable him to take control of his vehicle and to avoid collision with another vehicle. Intermediate side distance. Many times it may not be possible to provide overtaking opportunity throughout the stretch in that case. This is defined as twice the stopping side distance. When overtaking side distance cannot be provided, intermediate side distance is provided to give limited overtaking opportunities to fast moving vehicles. Headlight side distance. Headlight side distance. This is the distance visible to a driver during nighttime driving 
under the illumination of the vehicle headlights. This sight distance is critical at up gradients and at the ascending stretch, that is, at the toe of the valley curves. Stop in sight distance. SSD is the minimum sight distance available on a highway at any spot having sufficient length to enable the driver to stop a vehicle traveling at the design speed safely without collision with any other obstruction. It depends on it depends on feature of the road, height of the driver's eye above the road surface that is 1.2 meter, height of the object above the road surface that is 0.15 meter as per IRC. Criteria for measurement. Height of driver's eye already said that is denoted by capital H. Here capital H 1.2 meter. Height of object above the road surface H that is 0.15 meter. Of course it is already typed here. IRC H is equal to 1.2 meter and H is equal to 0.15 meter and it is shown where in case of OSD overtaking side distance both capital H and H both capital H and small h are equals to 1.2 meter that you should remember factors affecting the SSD total reaction time of the driver speed of the vehicle efficiency of the brakes frictional resistance between tire and pavement a road and gradient of road if any. Certainly all these five factors more important while determining or analyzing SSD. It is the time taken total reaction time of the driver is the time taken from the instant the object is visible to the driver and up to the instant the brake is effectively applied. It is divided into two types. One, perception time and second, brake reaction time. And this total reaction time of the driver can be understood with the help of a theory known as PIEV theory. As shown in figure, perception. P, it is the time required to see the situation that is P, I intellectual means understanding the situation, what to do with incorporating the emotions. That's why it is shown intellectual time and emotional time is with respect to brain. Perception is with respect to the sensations sent to the brain through nervous and spinal cord, nervous system and spinal cord. Next, lastly, volition. Volition is the time required to take action. What I should do? Should I apply brake suddenly or slowly so that no damage to the vehicle nor to any object which is ahead of the vehicle? In case of acute emergency, in, acute of, in case of acute emergency, we have to go for reflex action. Without seeing anything, we should apply. Without thinking any sort of reasons we have to apply immediate break that is known as reflex action that is rarely takes place. So I have already explained all this so that in general the total reaction time of the driver may be varying from may be varying from 0.5 to 0.5 seconds to 4 seconds. Now we will come to analysis of SSD. The stopping side distance is the sum of lag distance, sum of lag distance and braking distance. Lag distance, it is the distance of the vehicle traveled during the reaction time of the driver. If V is the design speed in meters per second and T is the total reaction time of the driver in seconds. As we have seen, the variation of T is 
पॉइंट फाइव सेकेंड्स टू फोर सेकेंड्स एन एवरेज वैल्यू ऑफ टू पॉइंट फाइव सेकेंड्स में भी टेक एन इफ इट इज नॉट गिवन वेन न्यूमेरिकल प्रॉब्लम इज आस्क इफ इट इज नॉट गिवन यू कैन टेक टू पॉइंट फाइव सेकेंड्स सो देर फॉर लैक डिस्टेंस इज इक्वल टू वी इन टू टी वेयर वी इज इन मीटर्स पर सेकेंड इफ यू कन्वर्ट दैट इन टू किलोमीटर पर आवर देन यू विल गेट पॉइंट टू सेवन एट मल्टीप्लाइड बाई कैपिटल वी इन टू टी वेयर वी इज हियर किलोमीटर पर आवर टी इज इक्वल टू टू पॉइंट फाइव सेकेंड्स ब्रेकिंग डिस्टेंस इट इज द डिस्टेंस ट्रेवल्ड बाई द वेहीकल आफ्टर द अप्लीकेशन ऑफ अप्लीकेशन ऑन टू द ब्रेक्स फॉर ए लेवल रोड और लेवल स्ट्रेच रोड दिस इज ऑप्टेन बाई इक्वेटिंग द वर्क डन इन स्टॉपिंग द वेहीकल एंड द कैनेटिक एनर्जी ऑफ द वेहीकल वर्क डन अगेंस्ट फ्रिक्शन फोर्स इन स्टॉपिंग द वेहीकल इज नथिंग बट कैपिटल एफ मल्टीप्लाइड बाई एल इज इक्वल टू एफ इंटू डब्ल्यू इंटू एल वेर एल इज द लेंथ ऑफ द ब्रेकिंग डिस्टेंस स्मॉल एफ इज इक्व लॉन्जिट्यूडिनल कोफिशियंट ऑफ फ्रिक्शन एंड डब्ल्यू इज द वेट ऑफ द वेहीकल देर फोर वर्क डन अगेंस्ट फ्रिक्शनल फोर्स the kinetic energy at the design speed of v meters per second will be equal to half mv squared therefore breaking distance is equal to v squared by 2 gf if you simplify that equation ssd is equal to lag distance plus breaking distance so coefficient of longitudinal friction as per irc as we have already said it is varying from 0.35 to 0.4 for the speeds 100 to 20 kilometers respectively uh, less than or equal to 20 to 30 0.4 40 0.38 50 km per hour then coefficient of friction in the longitudinal direction 0.37 and lastly it is 0.35 two way traffic single lane road ssd is equal to two times multiplied by ssd two way traffic single lane road in one way traffic with single or more lane or two way traffic with more than single lane minimum ssd is equal to ssd examples one example we will take today and rest of the two numerical problem you can attempt at home okay before we go to numerical problem we will see irc values for ssd at different speeds and different speeds for example design speed in kilometer per hour varying from 20 to 100 safe stopping site distance design speed twenty to 100 kilometer per hour safe stopping site distance is given for 20 it is 20 meter 30 30 meter 50 60 meter 60 80 meter 100 180 meter even if you work it out for this numerical problem you can check from this table you will be obtaining if at all you have made wrong calculations you can come to know and you can rectify it so let us take a problem calculate the stay safe stopping site distance for design speed of 50 km per hour for case a two way traffic on a two lane road case b two way traffic on a single plane road assume coefficient of friction of 0.37 and reaction time of the driver 2.5 seconds so everything is given just you have to put the stopping site distance formula lag distance plus breaking distance that is equal to vt plus v squared by 2 gf v is equal to so much uh, 13.9 meters per second T is equal to 2.5 seconds. F is equal to 0.37. If you substitute, you will get 61.4 meter. Alternatively, the stopping distance may also be calculated from equation 0.278 Vt plus V squared upon 254 F. You can you will get the answer as 61.61. 61. 4 meter in both the cases then case a stopping side distance when there are two lanes 
stopping distance is equal to 61.4 meter whatever we above we have calculated stopping side distance for two way traffic with single lane you will have to multiply it by 2 that will be equal to 122.8 meter we will stop here we will continue in the next class thank you for patient hearing